Hello, 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 lovely and wonderful kids. You are welcome back again to Victory Land Visual Class. And I am Auntie Ruth. Okay, today we have a wonderful and amazing lesson. And we're we'll talking about all. Oh, that will be our subject for today, our world and our people. So our subject for today is what? Our world and our people. Good. So what do we have for today? Our strand is all about us. Our strand is what? All about us. And we started treating this topic two weeks ago. Good. And our self strand is the attributes of God. Our self strand is what? The attributes of God. Good. And in our previous lesson, we learned about what? The creation story in Islamic and then in traditional religion. And we learned about some of the things that God created, what the Muslims believe that God created in all the six days and in the traditionals as well. Good. So let's come to today's lesson. We want to talk about what? The attributes of God. So think about this. What we mean by attributes. Okay. Good. So let's take our learning objectives. Learning objectives. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to, one, know the attributes of God. Know the attributes of God. And two, you should be able to relate well with others. I hope it's good. Yes. So, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to know the attributes of God. And the second one, you should be able to do what? Relate well with others or know how to relate well with others. Good. So, let's move on to our next slide, see what we have over there. And I ask a question, what are the attributes of God? Okay, so let's be thinking about that. So our relationship with the Creator, that is God. Our relationship with the Creator. So we want to know our relationship with our Creator. We have learned about the, the Creator and the universe. How do you relate with Him? Relate about the universe, what God created in all the six days, and He rested on the seventh day. So how do you relate with God? Do you love your neighbors or your friends? Do you love your neighbor or your friend? If yes, then your relationship with God is good. If yes, then I'll say that's what your relationship with God is what is good. We relate with the Creator through the attitude of him or through the attitudes of God. So we relate with the creator through the attitudes of God. And what we want to learn today or talk about is the attributes of God. And I asked you a question, do you have anything in mind on the attributes? When you talk about attributes, what are they? Good. So I say it again that if you know how, if you relate well with God, then it's good. We relate with God through the attributes of God. So let's go ahead to know the attributes of God. I hope you are following. Good. So the attributes of God. I hope you are following. This is very good and nice to learn. Okay. So the attributes of God. We are now coming to know what the attributes are. Okay. Okay. The attributes of God are the special names 
or titles given to God, the attributes of God, and the special names or titles given to God. I am Auntie Ruth, and then you are, you mentioned your name. Yes, it's a title given to you as a boy. It is a title given to me as a girl that I am Ruth. So let's look about God, whom God is. Let's look about his attributes. How do people call God? How do you also call God? Whom do you say God is? Okay, so the attributes of God are the special names or titles given to God. They are names and qualities of God based on his personality and character. Yes, whom he is. They are names and qualities of God based on his personalities and characters. So some attributes of God and their meanings. Some attributes of God and their meanings. So the first one is what we say, God is loving. And before we do this, there is a song that I want all of us to sing to begin the attributes of God. So I'll sing the first one and the second one, you repeat after me. So let's go. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Wow. Our first attribute is talking about God is loving. Our first attribute is what? God is loving. God loves everybody. And this means that we should also love our friends and neighbors. So we sing the song again. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it. So deep. You can't get under it so well. You can't get around it. Oh, wonderful love. Wow. God's love is indeed a wonderful and amazing love. So on the screen, you can see a helping hand, helping the friend to climb the mountain. What do you also do to your friend when your friend is in need? When your friend is about falling, what do you do? You help your friend or your neighbor with your hand to pull him back closer to you for him not to fall. So can we sing the song one more time? So God is loving. So can we sing it again? God love is so wonderful. God's love is so wonderful, God's Love, it's so wonderful, God's love, it's so wonderful, oh, wonderful love. So high, you can't get over it, so deep, you can't get under it, so wild, you can't get around it, oh wonderful love so this means that we should also love our friends and neighbors good let's come to the next slide the next attribute of god two god is good god is good and you go to children's service god is good all the time and all the time god is what God is good. So God is good. 
God provides good things for us every day. God provides what good things for us each and every blessed day. Can you say some of the things that God provides us? Yes. Can you breathe in? Just now. Can you breathe in? Then breathe out. Where do you think that breath is coming from? It's in the air. Have you paid for it? No. God gave all these things to us freely. We never paid for it. So God is good. He gave us light. He gave us food to eat. Through us, the plants. Wow. God is good. God provided us good things for us every day. So we should also provide good things for our friends when they are in need. So on the screen you can see some food items given to a home of orphanage. Yes. So when you have two pencils and your friend is in need of a pencil, what do you have to do? Give one to your friend to use it. If you have many, you can share it to others. Okay? And that means you are also good. So we should also provide good things for our friends whenever they are in need of them. Okay? Good. So God is good and God provides good things for us every day. Isn't God so wonderful? And our third attribute is what? God is merciful. God is merciful. God listens to us when we call him every time. God listens to us when we call on him every time. There is no single time that when we call on God, God never listens to us. So don't make you go on your knees and you pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil ones. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. God listens to all our prayers. He forgives us as our sins. Whenever we ask for it, and whenever we pray that God we need this, He provides for us. So God is so merciful. He listens to us whenever we call on Him. He forgives us our sins when we ask for forgiveness. But that doesn't mean we should go and be stealing. Yes. When you don't know of something you do, let's say you have a book which belongs to someone and then you don't intentionally pour water on it. You can ask your friend, oh my friend, I'm very sorry, I was just drinking water and then it's poured on your book. He didn't intentionally do that, so your friend will do what? Forgive you. But when you know that this is wrong and you pour water on it, you don't have to do that, okay? Good. I hope you are enjoying the lesson. So we should also have or show mercy to others, even when they offend us. So you could see a mommy and a child. You can do something to your brother. Go to your brother and say sorry. That means you say sorry, he forgives you, he hugs you, he says, I have forgiven you. Because God always forgives us our sins when we ask for forgiveness. So we should try to forgive our friends, our neighbors, our families, our siblings, anytime they offend us. I hope you are following and I hope this is good. And let us put it into practice, okay? So God is merciful. God is what? Loving. God is caring. Good. Let's go to our next slide. God is caring. God is caring. Yes, God is caring indeed. God cares for us 
and he cares for our lives. He provides us food, water, and shelter, and protects us from bad people. Okay? God cares for us. He cares for our lives. He provides us food, water, and shelter, and protects us from bad people. So we should also care for others, especially children and the aged and the poor. When you're walking on the street and you see an old person carrying goods, or maybe the load he's carrying is very many, you can help him or her by crossing the road or helping him with the luggage. What do we do when we come back from market? Mommy, you are welcome, you are welcome, because we know mommy is having some toffee in it, in the bag, that when we help mommy, mommy will give it to us. So the same way we should do to others, the elderly people, anybody who is in need, care for the person. Okay? Good. When you are eating, you have a lot of food and you are eating, and you are satisfied, don't waste it. Give it to the needy. Maybe there's a friend beside you who needs it. Give it to the person and God will bless you. Okay, so God is scary. God is scary. So let me learn something breathe today. What we learn something breathe today. Just did an amazing work. So what we learned today was what? The attributes of God. And we said the attributes of God are what? Yes, the titles or the quality names given to him. Is that God is loving, God is caring, and God is what merciful. I hope you learned something great today. Yes. So let's go to our evaluation and then see what we have over there. Good. So our evaluation. Let's look at what we have for the evaluation today. Evaluation. Underline the correct answers in the following questions. We are going to analyze the correct answers in the following questions, okay? Good. So, question number one. Attributes are special, yes, that's given to God. They are special words given to God. A, ideas. Then B, needs. So, attributes are special then you put the correct answer and then you underline it giving to god ideas a then b needs good question number two god is loving so we should dash our neighbors god is loving so we should do what to our neighbors a hate B. Love. Wow. God is loving, so we should dash our names. A. Hate. B. Love. So you underline the correct answer. Okay. Let's move on to our next slide. Yes. So our next slide. We should have mercy only on those who love us. Question three. We should what? Have mercy only on those who love us. A. True. B. False. We should have mercy only on those who love us. So, question number four. Our last question for today's lesson. God treats people equally. God treats people equally. True or false? God treats people equally. True or false? I take a third question again. We should have mercy only on those who love us. True or false? Then B. A, B, true, false. Then question four. God treats people equally true or false i wish you all the best and take your lessons
seriously. Make sure you learn after this. And see you in our next lesson.